Here you go. Thank goodness this egg fast is over. But something amazing came out of it. Delicious, fluffy pancakes. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews and we do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on our couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to so it. So I know you're asking right now, how did pancakes come out of an egg fast? Well, Joe gets creative when he is mopped into a corner. Well, we gotta tell the story here. So we came home from New York to seven dozen eggs, which seems like a lot to the average person. But for us, that's just a Saturday. It's it's not a lot, but Rachel still decided we were gonna do an egg fast. So I said, I don't wanna eat three dozen eggs a day. So she said, well, you can have keto chow, but you have to use eggs as the fat. Wasn't it nice of me to just sort of loosen the reins a little it bit? It was a little bit, yeah. And I was also allowed to have a little bit of cheese. So I started thinking, started playing with chaffles. Well, here's the thing, and I know, the hate comments are about to come down below. We should watch out. I'm not a huge fan of chaffles. You don't like the consistency of like the crunchiness. Yeah, they're okay, but they're a little crunchy. I like soft. Like I was one of those people that used to order pancakes when I would go out to eat, but then I would hit like four bites and be like, yeah, I'm done. I think that you're either a waffles person or a pancake person for the most part. Right. And I was also a pancake person. Now waffles were good when you could put a bunch of junk on it, like ice cream and stuff, because mm -hmm. you had like the soft- Nooks and, and crannies. Yeah, it was really good. Anyway. Not a huge fan of chaffles, especially because you gotta clean out the little mini dash waffle maker and that's a nightmare. Work, I wanted I pancakes. So I started playing with recipes and at the end I finally tweaked it and we have the most delicious fluffy pancakes that you're ever gonna have on keto that I'm gonna tell you most keto people would not know or non-keto people are not gonna know that these are keto. Yeah, the consistency is what really makes these magical because yep. I've seen a lot of different pancakes out there but it's super simple, not a lot of ingredients but the consistency is the traditional pancake. And they're really easy to make. How easy are they? They're so easy that even Rachel can make them on a Blackstone. Wait a second, you didn't say we were gonna do it on the Blackstone. Well, yeah, because it's summertime in South Florida. We don't cook in the house, like way True. too hot. Yeah. Now, you can make these on like a frying pan in the house, but we're gonna do it on the Blackstone. We're gonna start right now. You only need three ingredients with an optional fourth ingredient that I'm not gonna use. Okay. Ready? First ingredient that you're gonna need. Obviously, this came out of an egg fast, so eggs. eggs. You're gonna need some cream cheese. Yep. And then you're gonna need some keto chow. We've tried it with a lot of different flavors. It works flavors. well with all the flavors. So, but the sweet ones are great. Yeah, and uh, if you want, you can add a little bit of sweetener. It's up to you, depends on how sweet you wanna make them. Now the optional ingredient is baking powder. If you want them really, really, really fluffy, you can add about a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. We're not gonna do that today because I didn't learn that until the very end and it makes the batter very thick and sometimes difficult to work with. Yeah. Are you ready to get going here? Yeah. Now I've kind of like helped you out a little bit. Now, you could make this in a bowl with a hand mixer. I actually made it this morning just like with a little, little scraper mixing it up. Usually I make it in the Vitamix. We're gonna do this easy for Rachel. We're gonna use like a little mini food processor. I like this. Okay. Yeah. Four eggs. Four eggs. You need one and a half ounces of cream cheese softened. So usually I stick it in the microwave for about 10 seconds. Okay. Then you need one serving of keto chow. Which is this or, or a scoop. a scoop. Now, if you do it in the individual pack, the individual pack is perfectly weighed out. If you do it in the scoop, as I got it right in the little, that middle right, thing. Right, right in the hole. Um, 
If you do it by the scoop, the scoop you're supposed to weigh it out, I never weigh it out. I kind of do a packed scoop. Now, if you want a little bit sweeter, a few Which I options, always do. you can do a little bit of liquid sucrose. If you're gonna do liquid sucrose, don't overdo it. Like, like drops. Like two to three drops is a lot of sweetness. And again, you can buy liquid sucrose online in Amazon. I will leave a link down below. You can also use liquid stevia. We're gonna use this English toffee liquid stevia. It's yummy. And uh, we'll use a dropper full, so that's a half a dropper. We'll do another half a dropper. Because I like stuff sweet. Plus, I'm not gonna be adding any syrup to this. Right. Okay, so we're gonna put the top on. Blend until smooth. You're done. Okay, so we can take this. We can take this top off. Take your top off, Joe. Do that. See, it's like a lot less to, like we're not gonna lose any valuable batter here. Right. Now we're gonna take this out to the Blackstone. We do have some chicky babies that wanna be in the video. Okay, I did forget to mention before, if you're going to use the Blackstone, you wanna preheat it. Obviously you wanna preheat any pan here, but we're gonna preheat it and we're gonna turn it all the way down. So like get them going and then turn it all the way down. Optional, if you wanna put a little bit of butter on the Blackstone, you can just kind of put some butter on there and kind of move it around a little bit. Don't you love the sound of butter sizzling? So we're gonna go ahead and put these down. Okay, so everything's preheated. Now all you're gonna do, do you know how to do this? Not really. Okay, so we're gonna make, I usually get about six out of this. So. You drop it in the middle and let it spread evenly. Okay. Okay, so don't like move it around. All right, here we go. No, no, keep it going, more than that. Or not more than that. <laughs> Trying to make sure that I get six. Now you got more than six. Here, let's use the scraper and get the last one. So how long are we gonna cook this for? Till they're done. I don't know, you've got like all these odd, sh what are you doing? I have to lick the batter, <laughs> right? You've got the oddest shaped pancakes I've ever seen. They certainly don't look like round circles. This is Rachel. I am so glad that it is on the Blackstone because I have the best shot of actually having a round pancake. They're not round though. They're, they're, they're an homage to round. Okay. Okay, so uh, these pretty much cook just like a regular pancake. Bubbles? Looking for the bubbles. Okay, I don't like overly burnt pancakes. I, I don't, don't like either. them really brown. So we're gonna let it go for probably about two minutes and then flip one over and then, you know, go from there. See where we're at. Now what I do is once we flip them over, turn off the grill because there's enough heat retained in the grill, you're done. Okay, I think they're done. So or at least can, this side is done. So we can flip them. So you can go ahead and so start with one. One of the nice things is you get this big spatula here on a Blackstone, so. Also, I have room. Yeah, there, look at that, that is perfect. When I'm cooking in a pan, I don't do well. This you is do the, the big one. This is the one I'm afraid of. There you go. All right. That one's not quite as done, but that's okay. But look at the way these things are raising up. You're gonna have that nice fluffy pancake when you're done. Okay, now we flip them over. We're gonna go ahead and turn off the grill because there's enough heat left in the Blackstone that's gonna retain and cook. And uh, these will be ready in about a minute or so. I'm gonna go get plates. Okay. So this recipe was born out of an egg fast. Yep. Take a look at the shape of my pancakes and what do they remind you of? And eggs. eggs. How did you accomplish that? <laughs> I don't know. I've got this freaky one on the end though. Okay. I think we're done. Merry Christmas, everybody, of course. What are you doing? That's not how you serve a pancake. I like to spread them out. No, you have to have a big giant sack. sack. When you made pancakes, did you do a stack or did you do them like this? Let's let that one cook a little bit more yeah. or brown it up a little bit. Although I like them like that. Okay, so I stacked them like you like it. And look at that. How did you manage that every one is a different size? That's a Rachel talent that I don't think anybody can replicate. You can do the recipe, but you can't cook weird like Rachel does. Now, I do want to say for the record, how quick is it to make this recipe? 
This video has not turned off from the second we were started setting up. We're 12 minutes in. So yeah. it is very quick to actually cook these. Let's go ahead and do a taste test. First of all, we're gonna show you, it looks like a pancake. It does. It smells like a pancake. And uh, when you look inside, it's got the texture of a pancake. So, oh, we'll you ripped it. that one too. Boop. And it tastes like a really sweet pancake. Mm-hmm. Wow. You don't have to have the sweetener in there. It's really good. Now, I tried a lot of different ways. You want it even fluffier, add a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. Yeah, that makes a huge difference. You don't want them as fluffy, add about a tablespoon of almond milk. Thins out the batter, gets them to spread further. Ooh, I don't want to thin it. Um, These are so good. That's going to be our video for today. Pancakes are back, baby. Mm -hmm. These are really good. These are high protein pancakes. You're talking about this entire thing. If you eat the whole serving, a lot of times we're gonna make it and split it, but you could make this a nice serving. You're looking at four eggs, a little bit of cream cheese, serving a keto chow, perfect breakfast, perfect dinner. Maybe throw a couple more eggs on top of it. Kids will love it. You're really good. So now that is gonna be the video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you make this. Also, let us know what flavor keto chow you use. Yes. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which we're gonna put right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we make something delicious, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.